By the rude bridge that arched the flood, their flag to April's breeze unfurled, here once the embattled farmers stood and fired the shot heard round the world. Please remember this passage. It is well known, the shot heard round the world. You might wonder why this is relevant to a message about the Jewish origins of the church. Well, it goes like this, and I'm finally getting to my real point. Ancient Israel was an occupied land dominated by Rome, in much the same way that colonial America was an occupied land dominated by England. I trust you can begin to see the similarities when viewed in this context. World powers have the might and propensity to do things like colonize, tax, enslave, dominate, repress, oppress, or suppress. The early churchmen were embroiled in a rebellion, much like the founding fathers of the great nation of America. You should know that many Jewish patriots also fought in the American Revolution, and this probably helped change the course of American hatred of the Jews because America hated the Jews. In case you are unaware, I'll mention that in 1649, the Colonial Act of Toleration, as it was called, was enacted in America. The name is a misnomer, like many things put through by politicians. The 1649 Act of Toleration literally declared death to Jews and atheists. I wrote about it in one of my books about 30 years ago. Ugly stuff. It's worth noting that according to John Adams, only about one third of the residents of colonial America supported our revolution. But many of the Jewish citizens did. And it is my opinion, and other historians would agree, that America may have lost the revolution were not for some of its Jewish citizens being involved. But the point about John Adams' comment that one-third of the colonial Americans supported the revolution, it means that only uh, it was a small minority. Two-thirds of the colonists, the great majority, were opposed to American independence. I wrote about that too. But actually, in my view, they probably weren't so much opposed to independence as they were against the high cost of life and property to gain that independence. Life is usually that way. Everybody wants the benefits of freedom, but few wish to pay the price. Christianity is much the same. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Our fathers in the faith were revolutionaries in their own way. Similarly, the great rabbis of ancient Judaism were also revolutionaries. Unlike the American Revolution, the Jewish revolts and the Christian revolution did not lead to the glory of those in the battles. By and large, they just died for their beliefs. Modern Jews and modern Christians, on the other hand, are the true beneficiaries of their bravery and commitment. Therefore, I do see many similarities to colonial America and the early church. And I want to help you return to the scene of the crime and reconstruct a portion of the New Testament era for anyone in the audience who is interested in legitimate history.